Okay, in this Google Apps Script tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the libraries, <coughs> use the uh, project properties, and manage versions. Here's what we want to do. Here's a project, and in this uh, in this project, we have a main program, and we have several uh, classes or um, libraries of code. Now, this is fine if you're working on this project alone, and um, you know, and it's only one person working on it. But if you have a large group of people, and you want Group A to work on this, you want Group B to work on this, and Group C to work on this one, well, the GUI uh, doesn't really allow for real-time collaboration like Google Doc does. Um, so, um, so we need a different way of doing it. So, visually, what we're doing is this. What I'm going to show you is that I have a class file here. Uh, a class file or uh, a library code here. It's a separate file, is independent from everything else. And I have another class file or a library code here. And this file also is independent from everything else. All right. So team A is going to work on this one, this set of code, and team B is going to work on this set of code. And what we want to do is the main program here. Okay, the main program is going to uh, link to these two chunks of coding. All right. And what we could also do, <coughs> what we can also do here is we can have uh, another program also linked to this uh, this coding as well, just like this. All right. Oops. So I'm going to show you. Ex I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Right. So basically, the programs. The, the coding that was embedded like inside of inside of the main program I'm going to uh, put them outside the main program so that number one other people can work on it okay uh, and and uh, other people can uh, uh, you know team A can work on this coding library and team B can work on this one completely independent of each other and um, and the main program can read both of them Okay, let me start by showing you um, what the finished product is going to look like. So, let's take a look at the oops. Let's take a look at the main program first. All right. So this is the main program. Um, so if you look in this diagram, we're looking at the main program. Okay, this main program here is going to link to class A and uh, these two classes here. So this main program is going to link to this class here and this one here. Now, first of all, let me show you how it's done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, show you exactly how to do that. So the main program, if you click on resources and libraries, okay, you can see that it, it links to my two files here. I'm going to explain what the versions are and explain what development mode is. All right. And also what the identifier is. Okay. So inside my inside my first class here, okay. So now I'm looking at now I'm looking at this file here. Inside this file here, all right. Let's talk. Let's let me show you how to make this link from here to here, okay. So inside this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go File. I'm going to go Manage Versions, okay. And I'm going to go. I'm going to create a new version, all right. So you could type in Changes that you made to the version to remind you what it is okay and save a new version alright so when you see the reason I have five here is because I had a version four but I deleted it alright so when you save a new version okay what you would do then is you come back here and go project uh, project properties this is the project key that you want so I'm gonna highlight this project key I'm gonna copy it come back into here resources libraries and I'm going to add that project key here and push select and then it's going to show up here and then I choose a version I want All right. now because I have up to version 5 you click on here see my version shows up here I'm going to explain what versions are and what development mode is a little bit later okay and that in a nutshell is um, is um, how it works 
And the exact same thing when I get to uh, file B, same idea here, okay? So I'm going to go to File, Manage Versions, okay? And create a first, create a version. So here's my first version. Click on OK and go File, uh, Project Properties. Okay, and copy my project properties. Okay, copy that. Come back to my main program, and I'm going to. Um, okay, and I'm going to go. Uh, oops, sorry. Resources, libraries. Paste my project properties here. Select it, and it shows up there. And then after you do that, what you've done is you linked your main program. Okay. You linked your main program to the class files, linked it to the class files, okay, and the main program now can use those class files. All right. <clears throat> so I'll see you in the next video.